Hi, it's Hopke, and welcome to this screencast looking at the new WebVR feature in Pano 2 VR 6.1 and above. Right, I'm going to start off with uh, starting a new project. I've got a couple of panoramas. I'm going to open up 6.1. Here we go. And I'm just going to drag the panos in. So there's my first one and second one. So I'm just dragging them into the viewer. Okay, now these panos have got GPS already set um, because they were taken with a one shot camera. So I'm just going to go to automatic link in and closest node and that's those two linked together and to test this if I hold down the alt key I can click the hotspot and we change locations if I press the Z key that will spin the panorama around 180 degrees there we go and I can hold alt and come back out again or I could have just spun it around there you go so that's testing my hotspots I'm now going to add an HTML5 output and I'm going to add the silhouette skin now the silhouette skin for 6.1 comes with the WebVR button. So let's just um, output this and see what we get. Here it is. Um, I've got some other bits and pieces and thumbnails. I don't really want those. So I'm going to open up the skin configuration button and I'm going to deselect the zoom. Don't really need those. Auto rotate. Don't need that. And thumbnail menu button. Don't need that. Click OK and republish so I've got a skin that I want. Here we go, so I've just got the projections and full screen. I can move it around and we can, as I say, go in and out of the telephone box. Right, okay, so that's that's basically building the tour. Um, now, this has already got the web VR button already in place, but it will only show on a web VR or a VR compatible device. So what I'm gonna do now is change to my iPhone. Okay, so what I've done now is I've gone to my phone, I've typed in the URL for the built-in web server. We, we get this screen, I'm just gonna to go to the output, an HTML page, and you can see there's the phone box project with the current skin. You'll see that we've got the um, icon for the VR at the bottom. If I press that, um, it tells me to put it into the cardboard, and when I rotate the phone, we get the full screen and the um, panorama. If I hover over the um, hotspot you'll see that we're using stair navigation I can look around and let's um, go back and there you go so that's the stair navigation working if I then hit the little arrow on the top left to come out here we go we're now back to the pano on my phone okay from here then I'm going to open up the oculus go and you'll be able to see that I'm just I'm at the web server. I'm just clicking the uh, index page and we're going to open up the panorama. Now I'm using Firefox VR. So we open up the panorama and I can control it using the handset like I would be if I'm looking at it on a computer. I can even click the hotspots and change location. Here we go. Right, you'll also notice that the web VR button now is available in the skin because we're now watching on a VR compatible heads uh, device. If I click this, we go into WebVR mode, and if I tap the thumb controller, you'll see that we'll get a, th uh, a hint for the hotspot. Here it is. And we can then also click on the hotspot to enter the telephone box. Okay, so we can have a quick look around and do whatnot. Now, I've got limited head movement because I'm sitting in a chair, so we can use the thumb controller to spin the panorama. There we go. And also, when we click on the hotspot with the hand controller, we're back out. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna use the thumb controller again just to uh, swipe it around and get ready to view. Now, I'm gonna take the battery out of the hand controller and we're now on a uh, stair navigation. As you can see, we've got a little round circle and when I stare at the hotspots, this is in WebVR mode, we can just change location using stair navigation. So back to Pano 2 VR then, and what I want to do now is show you the settings. Now, that was how to create an output, so very, very simple. But things you need to know about is under the HTML5 output, we have the VR tab. This is new for 6.1, and you can uh, enable and disable VR mode. With it disabled, you will not see the VR icon because of a, another logic block setting. It will only become um, visible when VR is available. If you deselect this, VR will never be available and you would never ever see the button appear. Okay, so that said, what I'm gonna do then is go um, and open up a blank skin. 
and we're going to have a look at the component the VR component so let's have a look at there we go double click and add it to the skin I'm just going to talk about it for these new settings now under visible we have VR available now this can be found under uh, player and we have VR available, VR active. VR active may be used in the future, but at the moment we're using VR available. And we're saying if VR available is equals to true, then show the button. Here we go. So that's the button that's going to be showing. Now the button itself has the action. So it's mouse click and it's found under full screen. In uh, 6.0, we just have full screen. In 6.1, it says full screen forward slash VR. So we select that and then we have the options available as enter, exit and toggle VR. At the moment we're using enter. We'll probably be using these in future releases. They do function and speak for themselves. But obviously once you enter VR, you then don't see any of the skin buttons. So therefore you can't use it to get out. You use the um, little arrow button as seen in the uh, iPhone part of the video right okay so that's the actions and yeah that's basically um, how to use the web VR button in Pano 2 VR 6.1 and as always thanks for watching